While I was in Lombok, Indonesia, my cousin's sisters treated us to a home-cooked meal of Indo-style coconut beef curry, a steamed vegetable dish called urap urap, and a fresh long bean salad called bebedok. Now this video is a bit hectic, between catching everything that was going on and the language barrier and a bunch of kids running around, it took a real concentration to understand what was happening at any one moment. Before we could even start making any of the food, we needed to head to the local Sunday market in Kuta. We actually planned this dinner on a Sunday so that we could specifically go to this market to grab ingredients. With the car loaded up with family, we drove a few minutes down the main road until we reached the area where the market is held. What was a quiet abandoned looking area the day before was now lined with dozens and dozens of mopeds and even more people buying and selling meats, fruits, vegetables, and various other bits and bobs. We picked up ingredients, including beef, spices, and some fresh vegetables. One of the cool things about buying spices here was that you tell the spice store owner what you wanted to make and she puts together the perfect blend of spices for your dish in this little bag. We walked around a little bit in this market seeing if there was anything else we needed. We also picked up some fresh local tofu and some tempeh too. We loaded up the car then drove back to my cousin's accommodation which had a decent little kitchen area and the ladies started getting to work. While they were unpacking I tried some of the fresh local tofu which was delicious and outside one of the guys was breaking open this coconut with a machete so I went out to watch how he does it. I was pretty impressed how he also managed to break apart the shell to leave just the coconut flesh inside. Moving back into the kitchen the ladies were preparing some of the shallots, garlic, chilies, water spinach and fresh cucumber. We also got some of these coconut drinks, which had coconut water, coconut milk, condensed milk, and lime, which was delicious, but very sweet. I don't know if I could drink too much of this because of the sweetness. One of the little things I noticed was that nobody uses cutting boards here. They cut almost everything in their hands, which kind of got me worried since I keep my knives pretty sharp. I'd be worried about slicing straight through my hand if I use one of my own knives, but the knives they use here don't seem to be very sharp at all. And then this thing caught my attention, and I was wondering what it was. It turns out it's a grater made from a board of wood with loads of tiny little metal nails sticking out, and they use it to grate the coconut into shreds, and I was honestly surprised at how well this worked. In the meantime, prep on the spices started with peeling the galangal. Off the top of my head, this spice mix contained coriander seeds, candle nuts, galangal, aromatic ginger, regular ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, and one or two more other spices, which I never found out what they were. And then these blocks here are also dried shrimp paste. Shallots, garlic, ginger, turmeric, and chilies, and the spice mix along with some of the shrimp paste, salt, and oil were added to a blender and then blended up and then set aside for a bit later. I decided to have a go at cutting without the cutting board and it was much harder than it looks. I think I prefer using a sharp knife and cutting board instead. Then the tofu and tempeh were left to soak in a bowl with some chicken broth powder mixed into a bit of water. Sliced shallots were going into a hot pan with a little bit of oil to crisp up before the blended up chili and spice mix is added. Now, I wouldn't personally ever do this. This is how they steam the bean sprouts in a plastic bag it came in, poked a few holes and then dumped it in the boiling water for a minute too before pulling it out and using the bag to drain it, which I understand the convenience of, but still could never bring myself to do this at home because of the plastic. The shredded coconut is mixed with some water and then squeezed to extract what is essentially coconut milk. The water spinach also gets blanched in the hot water that had the bean sprouts in it, followed by the tomatoes as well to make them easier to peel. The beef is added to the pan with the shallots and the blended mix and left to cook a little bit before adding the coconut milk and then left to simmer. They put some garlic and shallots and a little shrimp paste directly onto the stovetop to toast a little bit before grinding into a paste along with some chilies, salt, MSG and the blanched peeled tomatoes in order to make a sambal, which is just like a chili sauce. I was given a chance to taste the beef curry and wow, it was so good. Spicy and creamy with a little kick to it as well. However, since the beef they use here is quite tough, it definitely needed some more time to cook to become more tender. The tofu and tempeh that were soaking in the chicken broth were drained and then fried to make them crispy, and then I was put to work again, separating the water spinach and then cutting up the long beans. The long beans were combined with the shredded coconut, some diced eggplant, and some sambal to make a really fresh, spicy salad type dish. And with that, almost all the food was done, so outside someone had cut down a few banana leaves, wiped them down, and then set them down to use them as floor mats for the food. Also served was the fresh cucumber from earlier and some fresh cut up eggplant. The rice was bought from a local shop to save time on cooking that, but also because I think we didn't have a rice cooker in this kitchen. Everything here was amazing. The steamed vegetables were served with the sambal, which was spicy, salty, fresh, and a little fishy from the shrimp paste. The beef curry is creamy and rich, spiced perfectly. However, it wasn't cooked for as long as it should have been since we were a bit in a rush to feed everyone. So it was actually a little bit chewy, but I tasted it later that night after I'd cooked until tender and oh my God, it was so good. You can also judge my attempt here trying to eat with my hands, which I think I got better at in the next few days. So yeah, that was our home cooked meal in Lombok, Indonesia. Sorry if it felt a little bit hectic. This was a real challenge to film, but hopefully you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.